The Penan Territory is tucked in the forest 150 kilometers upstream of the Barom River in Barino. The Penan are the last group of nomadic people existing in South America. A single square kilometer of Barino woodlands contains as many different species of trees as those in all of North America. The Penan live off the forest, getting resources from fruit trees, fishing sites, poison trees, and medicinal plants. Each one of these trees in every trail, boulder, and cave is resonated with a story by the Penan. The culture is based around a certain quality of being, including having little sense of time, no notion of paid employment, and burdenless work. Children receive education from learning through experience at the side of their parents. Both is perceived as the social relationships among each other. Penin are kind to each other and criticism is looked down upon. Therefore, confrontation and anger are rare. The primary trait of the Penin culture is sharing. There is no word for thank you in their language. This sharing is an obligation, which makes it possible for every person in the community to be equal and prosperous. Penin only pass down stories orally through the generations because they believe writing allows memories to be destroyed, while oral traditions sharpen recollection. Men do not separate their dreams from reality. For instance, if someone dreams of a tree falling on their camp, the whole Penin community would move elsewhere. Using their abilities of adapting to the environment, living off the lands, and creating a society of fairness and equality, Penin were able to live and thrive for hundreds of years without disturbance. When the commercial harvesting of timber along the coast of Barino began after World War II, Penin started to suffer. The annual cut of trees escalated to 8.8 .8 million cubic meters by 1990. Within a single generation, the land formerly belonging to the Penin was taken and used for logging and illegal operations. To the Malaysian government, nomadic people like the Penin were an embarrassment to the nation. After being forced from their homes, Penin women found themselves working as servants or prostitutes in logging camps, while children suffered diseases like measles and influenza in government settlement camps. In only a few years, the Penin, a prosperous group of hunters and gatherers who survived off using the resources in the land provided, were succumbed to a taker lifestyle and civilization that destroyed their culture and ways of life.